Further details have emerged on Comanchero World Commander Mark Buttle's assets, businesses, investments and his Turkish business partners from the Northern Cyprus. His stay in Northern Cyprus was short but eventful. Details prove that Buttle was determined to obtain citizenship and worked hard for it. He knew that he was wanted in Australia and if he obtains a citizenship in Cyprus it will become hard for Australian authorities to get him deported. When Buttle escaped from Australia in 2016, he moved to Dubai with his girlfriend Mel Terrace Wizsha and their two children. After spending five years in the United Arab Emirates, which he thought would be his new home, he had to flee when he was notified that he was a marked man and someone had paid millions for his life. It is reported after leaving Dubai, Buttle wandered around in various Middle Eastern countries like Iraq, Lebanon, and Turkey, finally reaching Northern Cyprus. Northern Cyprus is a disputed part of the island nation of Cyprus, that is viewed as simply being Cyprus by all nations except Turkey, who views it as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and is considered to be a safe heaven for criminals as it is an unstable and a highly volatile political state. Within few months of reaching Northern Cyprus, Buttle allegedly got into a relationship with a young woman and his ex-employee, named Uzga Kavas, from Femagusta, a port city on the east coast, and bought three properties in the Askel district. According to some sources Uzga still lives in these properties. Buttle then obtained a residence permit and then got married before completing even a year in Northern Cyprus. According to the latest information, he entered Northern Cyprus on a tourist visa on July 7, 2021 and received his resident permit in August 2021, while he got married on April 25, 2022, hoping to become a citizen. In meantime he also managed to become a major shareholder in two established companies conducting business of renting gas stations, luxury car sales and partnering with fuel companies. The two companies were named as Osbay Tourism Limited, and Shengul and LK Carmen Tikrit Limited. For Osbay Tourism, Buttle held 49% of the shares, while his lawyer Bader Saglamer, owned the rest. For the second company, Buttle partnered with a notorious businessman and car dealer Halil Karman. Through these companies Buttle bought various gas stations and luxury cars. The two known ones being K-Pet on the Nicosia Famagusta Road, and Alpet Gas. Gas stations, like any other business, can be used as a venue for money laundering, as criminals can use them to disguise the source of illegal proceeds as legitimate income. The cash-intensive nature of the gas station business, particularly in Middle East, can be used to their advantage by depositing large amounts of cash into the business's bank account, making it difficult for financial institutions or law enforcement to trace the origin of the funds. Buttle also purchased various luxury cars in cash. Buttle's lawyer friends and business partners, Bader Saglamer and Emre Kadri, were banned from traveling as a part of ongoing criminal proceedings in the Lefkosa District Court, on charges of money laundering, fraud and colluding criminal proceeds. Kadri helped Buttle in opening of multiple bank accounts plus helped him buying various luxury properties. He also produced various documents required for leasing, buying and selling of assets. The lawyers also tried to withdraw the money remaining in Buttle's accounts on July 13, 2022 the first working day after Buttle was deported, but could not because the accounts had been frozen by the police. His business partner Halil Karman, also the owner of King Otto, was later arrested on charges of money laundering and fraud. Police froze funds of around £150,000 transferred from Buttle's bank accounts in March, and around £400,000 in cash, linked to unsigned illegal contracts. Once Buttle was deported, Kaharaman illegally transferred his bulletproof luxury Bentley, Land Cruiser and a Cadillac under his own name. Kaharaman was also a witness to the buttle Uzga wedding, as mentioned on their marriage certificate. Comanchero boss also bought an apartment on the top floor of Feo Elegance, a luxury apartment building in Gurn. And a huge 16-acre land in Kyrenia behind the old Fog TV building. According to reports in Northern Cyprus, Buttle's total assets that are known today are around 35 million euros for houses, flats and fuel businesses. He also got into the crypto business, possibly through Halil Falia, a Turkish Cypriot casino owner, 
who was assassinated in February last year. According to reports and news in Northern Cyprus, the Comancheros World Commander was deported and declared a forbidden immigrant. After authorities in Northern Cyprus found out that he was involved in international drug crimes and money laundering activities and also that there was an Interpol red notice and a warrant outstanding for him in Australia, plus he was Australia's most wanted man. However on closer examination, it appears that deportation was a result of the diplomatic pressure applied by Australian authorities, and possibly Interpol.